Hey yo, what's up my little coders? Let me show you in this tutorial how to solve the lead code question number 1232. Check if it's a straight line. Basically, we are given an array of some xy points and we need to check if these points make a straight line in the xy plane. Here's an example. This is our uh, xy points and if you put a graph based on these points, you can see that you will get a straight line. That's perfect if you get a straight line which is returned true. Another example, here are some another points. However, if you plot a graph, you can see that, okay, this is definitely not a straight line. That's why we return false. We know now what to do. However, we don't know how to do it, right? Let me just do a quick mass recap for you guys. Basically, we can use the gradient. The gradient is like the measure of the steepness of a straight line. That's why if you calculate the gradient for the first two points, let's say, and then we will go through the rest of the points and we will check the gradient for like all the other points as well. If the gradient will be all the time the same, it means that, okay, it's definitely a straight line. If the gradient, you know, for some other points will not be the same, it means, okay, it's not a straight line and we would return false in this case. And here's the simple formula for the gradient. If you take two points, a point A and the point B, and if you basically divide the change in Y by the change in X, we will calculate the gradient of these two points. Change in y is simply like y2 minus y1, y2 comes from the point b, y1 comes from the point a, and we divide it by x2 minus x1, x2 comes from the point b, x1 comes from the point a. Simply as that. This is basically what you need to do guys. Just, you know, take the points, calculate the first gradient, iterate through the rest, calculate all the other gradients for the rest of the points, compare if all of them are the same, if they are returned true, if they are not the same, or like one of them is not the same, just return false straight away. Well, now we know what to do, how to do. However, we don't know yet how to code it. And if you want to figure out how to code it, just stay with me guys. And I will quickly write the code and I will go through it with you in a few seconds and we'll explain you everything. Just stay with me. Okay, dokie, my little coders. Here's our code. Okay, let me just put the picture here. Okay, so gradient, right? To calculate the gradient for the first two point for the first two points, we will need like to first of all define two x values, so like zero and x one, and two y values, y zero, y one, right? To use this formula, then we can calculate the change in y and change in x. So delta x is like change in x, delta y is change in y, delta x is equal to x one minus x zero. You know, same stuff as here and delta y is equal to y1 minus y0, same thing as here. We have like the, the initial change in x and change in y for the first two points from our coordinates, then we can iterate through all of the points and compare the gradient. The gradient for the first two points with, uh, with the gradient, you know, for all the next points we which, which we will have in our input array. As you might see here, we are not actually doing this division, right? I cannot see any division here. I guess you can see it as well because we are using the multiplication instead. If you would use division, you know, there will be some extra edge cases. For example, what if x2 minus x1, what if it gives zero? You cannot divide by zero. You know, it's extra hassle and we don't want to hear about extra hassle. So we will just use the multiplication instead. The idea is that we calculate the, the initial change in x and change in y for the first two points from the array and after that we can just multiply the change in x with the current change in y and also multiply the the change in y for the first two points with the current change in x and 1 divided by 2 is the same as 5 divided by 10 so if the gradients are still the same then you would just like multiply 5 with 2 you will get 10 and you multiply 1 with 10 and you get 10 like these two things are still equal the division is not actually needed and division would cause us a lot of problems as well. That's why we just like multiply this stuff with this stuff and compare if it's the same. In case if it's not the same, we would return false. Otherwise, we would iterate through all of the coordinates and if we would not return false, we would return true in the end, which will mean that, okay, the given line is a straight line. Again, we take current x, current y, we multiply the delta x, that's the initial delta x which we calculated here, with the current change in y, so the current y point minus initial y0 for the first point, for the first y value from the coordinates array, and if it's not equal to the initial change in y, multiplied by the current x minus the first 
x value from the coordinates array. If these two parts are the same, we would continue. If not, we would return false because it means that it's not it's not a straight line. Simply as that. I hope it's clear, guys. Let me just run the code now. Code it works. Let me submit. Perfect. If I submit, I get 100%. Simply as that, guys. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a like and subscribe. Challenge your friends to see if they can solve this question or not. And I will see you in the next video, guys. Good luck.